Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're talking about the top three reasons students pass calculus. A while ago, I made a video, three reasons why students fail calculus. You're welcome to check that out, but I thought it would only be fair to balance those videos out. Why are we talking about this? Well, calculus, especially in the United States, is sort of infamous for having high failure rates in college and university the first year or even first two years those introductory calculus courses cause many many students to change their major unfortunately it's it's a really big hurdle for many students so i'd like to just list my top three off the top of my head right now that i think are the biggest sticking points to why students do pass calculus and number one is you are prepared to take the course what does that mean what does it really mean to be prepared to take a calculus course and i'm really talking here uh, like a calculus one or a calculus two in your first year of college or university and i can only speak to my experience in the united states but you really need a very strong foundation in algebra and trigonometry. I've said this in many different videos and in a variety of forms, but students come in because, because basically either their advisor assigns them the class or that's what they need to take for their major their very first semester or their very first year. And they just need this course, this calculus course. They need to get it out of the way quickly to make sure they've aligned up everything for their major. And what happens is maybe you've scheduled this class, but in high school, you didn't take all the courses to give you that prerequisite knowledge. You know, all the pre-calc stuff, you know, difficult stuff dealing with trig and logarithms and the stuff <laughs> not a lot of students like, but the stuff that is vital to your success in calculus. Now, this is obviously going to be different if you're taking a more engineering type calculus, which is very heavy on trig, or maybe a business type calculus, which may have absolutely no trig. But regardless of which type of calculus you take, you need that prerequisite knowledge. And what happens is many students, you know, they sign up and maybe they do have the knowledge, but they've just forgotten. They've gotten rusty. What I've seen in the past, too, is that students take the pre-calc class, maybe their junior year of high school. And then in the senior year, you know, you're a senior. You don't really want to take a hard class. Maybe you push calculus off until college. And so maybe you don't take a math or you take an easier math. And then in college, it turns out you need the calculus, or maybe it's just been so long since you took pre-calc, and those skills are just a little bit rusty. So that is, is more or less the top reason, just coming into the class, not exactly prepared, and you know, maybe other things are going on too, maybe you're just getting used to college. And it's just, ah, it's a tough thing. So I'm gonna have a video, put it right here for you to check out. If you are unprepared for your calculus class, what should you do? You can go ahead and watch that video. Point number two, as I look at my cheat sheet, which you won't tell anybody, is students who pass calculus, they have the right mindset about the class. I had a friend who I took calculus with, um, calculus two, and I have to say he had the entire wrong mindset about the class. He had taken it before, he thought he knew everything. And um, well, I guess if you're taking the class a second time, maybe, maybe you have to rethink that strategy in the first place. But what happened was his mindset about the class was he essentially wasn't taking it seriously. And if you don't take calculus seriously, if you don't kind of respect the class, respect the rigor and the difficulty of the tests, it can really come back to bite you. You have to go in with the mindset that it is going to be work, maybe even hard work, maybe a lot of hard work you should expect that the tests are going to be difficult. They are designed that way. They're designed to be hard classes. Teachers don't want engineers that build bridges that fall down. It's not necessarily that you'll be using calculus on the job, but they only want people who are willing to put in the work to get through, regardless of whether the knowledge is vital or not. So going in with the mindset that you know the tests are gonna be hard. You know, even if you've taken the class before, even if you're prepared, even if you have the prerequisite knowledge, that you need to take the class seriously and be able to dedicate 
many hours of work, maybe every week to this class. You take it seriously. And if you go in with the mindset that it's probably gonna be your hardest or maybe one of the hardest classes you're taking that semester and you treat it with respect, <laughs> you're gonna be in a lot better shape. And my third, my third thing, the reason students pass calculus is they know where to get help and they're not afraid to do it. I don't know what the stigma is with tutoring. I've been a tutor for many years. I've seen it help an incredible amount of students, especially in calculus. Calculus seems to be one of the most highly demanded subjects for tutoring, and many students don't take advantage of it. In fact, most colleges and universities have free tutoring, free math tutoring, especially for calculus that I would encourage you to seek out. I'd encourage you to go to tutoring, even if you don't feel like you need to, just to kind of study. I mean, I think people think, well, I'll only go to tutoring if, uh, if I really have no idea, or maybe people think, oh, I'm dumb if I'm going to tutoring. I went to tutoring. Many of the smartest students I know went to tutoring just because it kept them sharp, kept them up to date. And if you do know where tutoring is, where you can find it, how to access it, all the details, you still have to be able to go, right? You still have to not be afraid. Don't worry about it. I'm probably thinking the first maybe one or two times of tutoring might be a little bit uncomfortable for you if you're not familiar with it, but I promise it gets really, really easy just to go. It becomes part of your habit, part of your routine. And if you do go to tutoring, you will find things become so much easier in class. It's so much easier talking one-on-one -on -one or even in a small group with someone who really knows the ins and outs of the class. You know, maybe they took it with the professor you're teaching. There's lots of benefits to going and getting help, especially with math tutoring. So those are the top three reasons I think students pass calculus. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. And again, you can check out that video if you are, in fact, unprepared to take your calculus class and you can see my thoughts on that. I hope you have a great day.